Hey guys, so there's a brand new potential back door in Intel processors. I thought it was important that I do this video as soon as possible. I want to talk about it. I also want to talk about potential solutions for some of the other Intel back door problems. Just the other day, uh, Intel processors were found to have undocumented x86 instructions allowing someone else to take control of your processor and add microcode. So this is a big deal. This means someone else can take full control of your processor. Something else about this, uh, not only can they program your processor, it looks like there is in the name the UEFI main. Leads one to believe it could even be a UEFI based, BIOS based backdoor. We're taking a look at this. This is brand new news on this. We're also going to talk about the Intel management engine and potential solutions to help prevent that from being exploited. And some of the serious dangers, and a lot of people aren't familiar with how Intel management engine works. Intel management engine is an actual secondary ARM processor, which runs its own operating system on your Intel machine. It cannot be accessed. You could run Wireshark. You won't be able to sniff the traffic of the Intel management engine. It runs a what's called an out-of-band network, meaning it creates its own IP network hidden from the entire machine, hidden from the hardware. It runs at minus 3 ring, which is all the way below all the other processes and hardware. Cannot be modified without bricking your system but of course there are some solutions here so we want to talk about that this is not the first vulnerability there's been quite a few I'll just list off my own CPU as you can see all the various vulnerabilities now some could say this is because there is a more keen eye on Intel it's a much more under scrutiny processor than others but there's been a history here. Why would you need a remotely accessible hidden processor that the customer cannot disable? Of course, there is what's called an HAP flag, which could be a bit could be set that would disable some of it, but the firmware itself you cannot remove without bricking your system. Now, one solution to this particular problem is to use a different motherboard. You can even order a computer with that HAP set on System76. You can also order the same on Purism. You can also order one on Dell. Dell Computers actually offers you for about an extra $20 to disable this. But this isn't the only problem with Intel. We're talking about this latest possible backdoor allowing someone else to take control over your processor. They could inject things like crypto miners. They could also inject malware. So we have this here. What's interesting about this entire thing is the evidence of this instruction for this hidden code goes and is even mentioned in Ghydra, which is the NSA's reverse engineering software and hardware. There's been a video showing how the Intel management engine functions fully independently. It actually used 3G in the past, which is cellular technology to create an out-of-band network. As mentioned, it is a hidden IP network. You cannot access it from your operating system, no matter what operating system you use. Doesn't matter if you use Linux, doesn't matter if you use BSD, doesn't matter if you use OpenBSD. You cannot disable this with software. There's actually a device. If you have a Linux system, I want you to pull up a terminal. And I want you to list this really quickly. grep slash dev slash mei and then star and see if you have anything come back. Me, personally, I removed it. It's part of the management engine interface. I did not see any need to keep that on my Linux machine and actually ls slash dev grep mei star and okay we don't have it as I told you I removed it but that doesn't mean I disabled it completely there is in your BIOS it creates a hidden IP network here's what we can do about it some things I found in my research it utilizes the built-in Wi-Fi card so that built-in Wi-Fi card 
is what's helping create that out of band IP network and allowing that remote access into your computer. Not only does it allow the remote access into your computer, it also does so while you have your machine off. It does not matter, you'll even notice, and here's another tip, if you notice your battery is draining when your computer is off, well, that's your Intel management engine taking care of whatever it takes care of when you're not using your computer. We really don't know what it's doing. The code of the extra processor is encrypted and is in a way unreadable for us. We cannot tell what it's up to. We cannot tell if others are accessing it. There's no reason to force all customers to have an extra quote backdoor processor. This is a big issue with Intel and as mentioned we're going to be talking about the solutions as well so I suggest now this is something I came up with remove that inbuilt Wi-Fi card that came with your Intel management engine PC because of the fact that I've looked at many sources and all of them state that it utilizes the integrated network adapter meaning if you use a USB Wi-Fi card you should be somewhat safer at least I can't say it won't be activated because we don't know what it's doing there's also been instructions in some of these things where it is actually shown the word backdoor in some of the leaked source code which is kind of suspicious don't you think having the word backdoor in the Intel's own source code why would you do that kind of makes you wonder I will be reporting on any extra vulnerabilities and some other options you can have are to get an ARM based system I've moved a lot of my network to ARM based machines currently doesn't mean ARM is foolproof doesn't mean ARM doesn't have vulnerabilities ARM is under a little less scrutiny but a lot of you'll notice a lot of manufacturers are moving towards ARM even Apple is moving towards ARM for their laptop so take note of that and think about it and Maybe it will make sense if you look into some of these Intel problems. We should be able to disable hidden access to our machine, especially something creating its own out-of-band wireless network. That is a huge deal. There's hidden radio code that allows this extra network to be created. There's also the RISC-V. That is a open source processor. It's a little expensive right now. You can get one from various places, including Beagle makes them, as well as Pine64 is coming out with RISC-V architecture. So that is something to look forward to. Maybe you can move some of your network, at least move your routers to ARM-based machines. That's what I've done on my own network. I've done a couple different things to try to mitigate some of this, but you know there's only so much you can do you don't need the Intel management engine if you're not managing a large number of networks so that is what the Intel management engine is that's what the newest backdoor potential backdoor I should say I don't really know what else these things could be for why would you hide them from being disabled from the customer it's quite a question that's all I have for today guys so make sure to like this video share and subscribe with the bell icon leave a comment engagement helps out the channel and make sure to subscribe over at Odyssey I'm also on PeerTube but Odyssey is where I'm probably going to be putting extra videos with extra details on some things so make sure to subscribe over at Odyssey I have my invite link in the description really appreciate if you use it and I will be back with more on protecting your privacy